Well, my daughter is taking a three hour exam and because it's about 45 minutes from my house, I decided to head east to the beach and see if I can do a little detecting while she's in there, the poor thing taking an exam. And that brought me right to the sunny beach of Belmar, New Jersey, which is an old hangout of mine back in the 90s. I haven't been here in a long time. Well, I made it on the beach. It is 17 degrees right now. It is cold. The beach is pretty much frozen. I'm not even sure if I'll find any available dig spots because the ground's so hard, but I think I just found a white marble. I'm not really sure. No, not quite the same place I'm used to seeing. We are at about 18 degrees right now, and the temperature for the last three days has been down in the single digits. So we're getting a little icing over, but it's gonna warm up. And I just got a good feeling I still might be able to find something today, if I can get past that. I see something green over there. Well, it was already worth coming out because besides that awesome mason jar right there, we had a very cool amber, another cobalt blue. I like this broken cup and another piece of the uranium glass, but this mason jar is a really nice, pretty sure that's another anchor to go along with my button from last week. No number on the back, but that is another a fruit jar, mason jar. And it's interesting, there's a little, I don't know if that's a baby, no, oh, it's like a little baby guppy. I've seen better days, but I thought what it was is one of those ocean newts, I forget what you call them, but they have those little feathered legs here. She's seen better days. Well, that just popped out, and I initially thought it was a salt and pepper shaker. It's got some age to it, it has the cork top on it. I'm not really sure. I like that one. I might have just got lucky with another small milk that I just saw the top of it kind of like this piece here where you see the top you don't think it's anything then you pull it up and that's nothing but this was something this is the next one here this means I got a low area here for some reason it cleaned off a lot and I didn't see any of this because I certainly would have picked up this guy I don't see really any embossing yet that's a nice oh it might be a Sheffield as I see the big letters. Yep, I think it's a Sheffield. And there's a number four. I have a lot of big ones of this with the big number on it. I don't think I have any in the pint size. Very cool find. Drop it. I'm gonna clean it up. Yeah, it's amazing. You can see where the ice is starting to creep in. I'm all soft water here. But we just got the ice starting to creep up on here. And here. And here. And here. And back off. All right, I just had to work hard out of that one. That was four huge bottles that I just happen to find buried right here. Which, when I come back, leads me to believe there may be some bigger bottles resting in this area. 
Two of them are worth keeping. That's an old Coca-Cola. Not super old, but good enough to bring home. Probably 50s and 60s. But this is a Ben J. Crate Red Bank. Monster bottle. I love this one. She scratched up a little bit, but this one has some history to it. And it looks like a great, great color. So that's going to be one of my bigger bottle collections. Registered. I'm going to guarantee you there's some small bubbles in this one. Because she's got some history to it. Yeah, I like that one. No real embossing other than the bottom, but... Yeah, there's a few bubbles in there. I just kicked this thing not knowing what it was and then it flashed up at me marble and it's not a marble because it's got something attached to it huh that's interesting looking well as I can tell you is it's glass but not sure what it's from Go. Huh. Well, I'm back, and this is maybe possibly the only day I can get out this week, so I'm hoping for some pretty cool stuff. Right off the bat, I had to pick up this cobalt blue. What looks like it could have been a, a vase maybe, or a vase. And because how cool that looks, I'm gonna bring it home and clean it up. We'll see in this very short period of time what I can pull out today. It's a nice little wash right here. You gotta look in all these nooks and crannies because sometimes you see a bottle popping out. I guess something coming out here. I clean out the bottom, it doesn't look super old, but it's worth trying to peel it out. So I'm gonna work on that for a second. Well, I grabbed a few more interesting pieces. That's a cool bottom of a light bulb. Got some writing on it. Another cobalt blue mini Bromo Seltzer. And a nice porcelain cap. Nothing too crazy yet, but I'm gonna dig a little further in this spot. I feel good about it. Sometimes I must videotape because of the work I had to do to get this out of here. You'd have thought this thing was about 150 pounds worth of bottle. Finally loosened up and I got it out. And I do like what I see. It's got crate written on there. Old soda bottle. I don't see a lot of, I don't see the potential for any cracks. That might be a really nice in shape old soda bottle crates, yep. That one's gonna clean up nicely. Let's get the hands nice and cold. That's clear. 
I actually was gonna guess it was on the greener side. It might still have something in there or just dirt. So I'm gonna get that cleaned up. I'm liking the way it looks a lot. Crates. They managed to pull out a script Lysol. That's a great cork top. That's got some age to it. It's got some real age to it. And I love the script lettering. Look at that. We'll be able to date this back to its exact age because I know the script is pretty specific. And there's some really nice bubbles in there. That's one of the originals maybe. What's it look like? I don't know. That sure looks like a ring to me. Looks like a ring to you. Silver ring. It didn't come up silver. Oh, it's got something written on it. Oh, that's good. That's what I was looking for. No, I mean uh, <laughs> engraved. It says, His Beauty? I don't know. It sure came up a good number, but it was faint, so it wasn't a strong number. I don't see any maker's mark. I don't see any carrot mark. Oh, the sun's coming out. But that's definitely a good spot right there. I don't see, I don't see anything. It showed up on the detector as gold because it ran a little lower number. Could be. I don't know about, I don't like the way they engraved it. Why not? Well, it doesn't look like it was engraved in it. It like looks like there's a print on it. I don't know. You see? Came right out of there. Oh, did I drop that on your toe? Which means now I gotta scour this area because all that stuff got pushed up. I ran back to the beach real fast because my dad was getting cold and we had to stop back home. And I was able to manage this piece out, but I forgot my phone. So I had to videotape it here at home. It's a really, really nice old, I'm gonna say belt buckle. We're gonna try and get out one more time before the storm hits. Right now it's pretty calm. And it's not even that cold out, it's about 32 degrees. We got a major storm coming in. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to get out in the next couple of days. But it sure looks nice out right now. Well, like the other day when I found the ring with my dad, there's a really good dumping section wash here. I just picked up two pennies and right on top, I'm pretty sure that's a quarter or a token. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That's an unusual find. We got a dollar coin, John Adams. Fantastic, surface find, John Adams, $1. No, I've been out here for about four minutes. Great, great coin. Amongst all the shells, the driftwood, the broken up pieces of garbage, I always seem to find a baby arm. It's so weird. And what's even weirder is I generally take them home. Small baby arm. 
Uh, I'm digging for about an hour. Got a high pitch signal. 22. Uh, you can see typical silver, black as can be. But you could just make out the body line, and it's got to be a seated dime. Fortunately, I don't think we'll get much out of this one as a date. But she looks like a seated dime. We'll clean it up when I get home.